Hello everybody, I am Dee and this is my lovely assistant Sarah. She's my daughter and today we're going to show you how to make card bases for beginners. Sarah's never made a card base. She's made a million cards, decorated the cards, but I've always made the card bases for her and so now today she's going to make her own. She's going to show you guys how to do it. So, the first one is crocodile style. Is that the technical term for it, or is that what you're calling it? That's what I'm calling it. So you can turn it sideways or up and down. Perfect. The next one is going to be basic. A basic card. They're A2 size cards. And the hamburger. So show them next to each other. They're both the same size when they're closed. When you open them. One is longer than the other, and we're going to show you how to make both of them. So you can make both styles of cards. So, to get started, you're going to need a few items. Item number one is called a scoring tool. So, we also have the bone folder, which is also a scoring tool. This came with the Martha Stewart scoring board. We'll show you how to use both. She's going to do one with one tool and one with the other tool. The next item is a pair of scissors. All right. She obviously likes playing with the scissors. The next one will be our. Do you forget it again? Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name. Our it. trimming board. Our trimmer. Our Fisker's trimmer. Um, the reason we're going to need scissors, and you'll see in a minute, is because my trimmer is only so big. Um, It'll trim the one size paper, but it won't trim the others, the longer size, because it won't fit in here, but we'll show you that in a minute. And the last item that you'll need, no, not the last item, the second to last item you'll need is the scoring board, which is the Martha Stewart Corp scoring board that I have. It's a very large board. And we'll show you how we're using that in this second. The most important thing you'll need is cardstock. Two cardstocks, nothing special about them. We use this stuff. I don't know what the weight is. I think it's 60 pound weight. But anyway, we have two pieces. We're going to get four cards out of these two. So Sarah's going to show you how to do it. We're going to start with the one. We're going to do the basic one first. Basic. Can I bring a hot dog? Okay. So what she wants to do right now is you're going to cut it in half, exactly in half this way. Okay. So So half, it's eight and a half by 11 is the paper. Eight so and you're going to make, that's the size it is now. Right. You want to cut it half of 11. I thought 11 would be five and a half, which would be. Right. So you want to make sure it's flush up there. Is that this line? Would be five and a half is this line right here. All right. You're going to close up your trimmer and score or cut it. Pull out your two pieces. Finally, they're even. Now, Put them together so they can see that they are the same size. Now she has two pieces of paper the exact same size. So, we are now done with the trimmer. Okay. For this card. For this card too. We can't use it for oh, the other card. Okay. And I'll show you why in a second. So, so, let's put one aside. She now has two pieces, as you see. Put it aside. Put it up in the corner there. Put it up flush. You'll see it's eight and a half mm -hmm. by five and a half. That's exactly what we need. So, you're going to cut it, or you're not, you're not going to cut it. You're going to score, score it very good mm -hmm. halfway because you want it to fold exact halfway. Half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. Okay. Is this one here? Pick one of your tools. Now, this tool I want to explain real quick is a Fiskars, Fiskars tool. It has a ballpoint, a very small, I don't know if you can see it, very small little ball here. Or a larger one here. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. The larger one is what you want to use. You can use a smaller one, but if you use a smaller one, you're going to put a hole in the paper, chances are. So, use a larger one. Okay. Let me zoom you back out. All right, there you go. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. You'll feel the little groove that's in there. I feel it now. That's okay. She just slipped a little bit. Go back into it. I see why you like the other one better. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. 
Now, she did it perfectly in half. You're going to fold it. So, when you fold it, you're going to fold this way. And I'm going to show you something when you do that. Here's your bone folder. Bone folder. Perfect. Now, there's a little trick that I do when I do this. I have it like this. It's scored. Mm -hmm. I keep it up in this corner so that I know that this is even, Stevens, perfect, mm -hmm. and then I fold it, okay? Because mm -hmm. sometimes when I find when I do this, I tend to push it up this way a little bit and it would fold weird. So I always try to put it flush in the corner. All right, so she's got one card right now. Can you guys see that? Card number one. Now she's going to do another one. Do you want to use the other boom folder? Do that? This one. All right, so you're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. So half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. Just go straight on down. Very good. Now for this one, because I want to show you something, okay. you're going to pick it up and fold it the opposite. Oh, opposite. Okay. Instead of folding this way, because while you have it, you're going to do this. And I want to okay. show you why. You want to show them a little ridgey first? There's a little ridge bump. No, they can't see it. Let me zoom in. They can't see it because of the light. Put it down. Can you guys see? I can see it. You can see it there? Yeah. It's a little you bump. See the little bump there? This one did not have the bump there. Can you see that? So fold that in half. Where the bump is. Zoom back up. I'm going to show it on my bumpy. Do it up in the corner. There you go. Perfect. All right. Open that up. Hold on. I'm zooming in again. All right. You see this one? This is the one that had the bump on the outside. Zoom that one in. That one has a bump on the inside now. Turn it over. My bumps on the outside. Did you do it backwards? Nope. This part has a bump. This one doesn't. I think I folded it weird. It's uh -oh. not even in frame. <laughs> Pull it up. Okay. So she has bump there, no bump there. I prefer the no bump. Some people prefer the bump. It's all personal preference. So now she has two cards that she just made. Out of one sheet of eight and a half by eleven paper, she made two basic cards. So she can make a card going this way, bloop, one this way, two however she wants to do it. So now she's got two card bases. Now she'll have to ask me to help her. Now we're gonna do the other way. Oh dear lord. Now the other way I'm gonna show you needs to be scored this way down in the middle because we want it to look like less so simple enough right well my scoring board will not allow us trimming trimming board oh my i can't believe i can't remember it. will not allow me it doesn't fit it's stuck it does not it just doesn't fit so i can't use that i got a smaller one had i known i would have gotten a bigger one when i bought these i'm gonna have to buy invest in a new one but anyway so for now, you're going to have to go eight and a half, half of that. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Score down. Now, because we don't have the scoring board or the cutting board, board, the trimmer that fits that, you're going to have to use the scissors. Just go straight on up. As careful as you can. That can be a bigger if you choose to. I'm nervous. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race, and she's almost there. Yeah! Yeah! Grab 
back as well. <laughs> okay. She has two crooked pieces of paper. Two pieces of paper that are almost perfect. Crooked. You'll never know. I will. Nobody will ever know. You cut that little piece off there. Now you have two pieces. So you want to turn it this way because you're going to score it in half. It's half be. of 11. Now you're at 11 would be what? Five and a half. Five and a half. Perfect. Hold it with the other hand here. Perfect. All right. Leave that one there. Let's not fold it yet. Do that one. Make sure it's flush up against the thing. Five and a half. Now, once again, we're going to fold one in, the other one the other way, so we can show the bumps. Put it up in the... Very good. Here's the other one. Do you remember which way you did it? Hope oh, we'll figure it out. I think I did that one with the bump in the inside. Nope. Okay. Wait. The bump's on the outside, right? <laughs> this. <laughs> Blonde moment. Alright, let's see. Make sure. <laughs> Do I just like flatten them too much? I think you flatten them too much because they both look identical. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> we learned something here. Um, yeah, that's cool. Do you have another one that you can show the inside? That's... This one has a bump. This one, okay, yeah. Here we go. So this one's bump. Bumpered. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see the bump. Yeah, you can see it. This one is not. So that's what I mean. It's per personal preference. However you want to do it. And then you don't get a bump either way. Unless unless you do it like Sarah does it. And we don't know. It just it missed appeared as she used to say when she was little. So. Sarah now has two of these cards. That go this way. Or this way. So. That quickly. Sarah made. Paper. And did two cards. And this paper. And then two cards. She now has four card bases that she can decorate, do with what she wants, and won't have to bother me to make them for her. Because now, she, if she says, I need a white card base, I could say, Make it yourself. What'd you think of that? It was okay. Easy it was, enough? It was nerve wracking. A little nerve wracking. Once you do a couple of them, you'll be fine. It wouldn't be as bad if we weren't filming it. It won't be, yeah. It wouldn't be as bad if we weren't filming it. If it was my first time. But, but if you it. make like. Just do like three more orange ones and a bunch of yellows and that way we have a sash of them and then you'll become a pro at it and it's great and it's fun and it's yay. Alright guys, well we hope you enjoy our video and stay tuned for more. Subscribe below. Um, I believe we've, we're going to be putting up our envelope one as well that Sarah just learned how to make. So that'll be going up also. So keep your eye out for that and keep your eye out for more videos for card making for beginners. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Sarah, say bye.